what gets me confused is how can life be the bad guy when we the mortals in fact need life to live? Because mortals also need to die. That's how. Life, it can be a bad guy by making the choice for all mortal life that it no longer is going to die. It's what gives our lives meaning. We don't need immortality. We don't need life to be eternal. Life is supposed to live and die. And when it doesn't, it creates suffering. Balance is important. Yes. That's what Farim's writings, uh, as we'll eventually find out, that's what they come down to. Balance. Which I think is the, the seventh... That's what I think the seventh force is. And that way is balance. It's something that lies at the intersection of all forces. So Azeroth could... I mean, Ilun is the reflection of balance, as we've seen. So her connection to Azeroth, her, her role is probably going to be massively significant for the balance of the, the cosmos. Because I think we all understand that, like, we don't want the void to own the cosmos. We don't want the light to own the cosmos. We don't want order to own the cosmos. The Burning Legion owning the cosmos would obviously suck. We don't want any of these forces really to win, do we? I think at the end of the day, balance is what has to reign supreme. And if balance is obstructed to the point where one force gets out of control and can dominate the other forces, then... I think that that is what will trigger the awakening of Azeroth. Um, when things are finally thrown out of balance to the point where it's no longer functional, Azeroth will wake up and restore order, restore balance. That's what I hope. I think the problem is, is that if you can subdue Azeroth so that she can't wake up, and I've said this before, then she sleeps forever, and if the Titans get control of everything with order, and then Azeroth can never wake up, then that means that the Titans will find a way to stop and own the cycle, basically. And if they do that, then the catastrophe that could occur as a result of it could be abso absolutely horrific. And that's why I say that the, the Void doesn't really give a shit about time. It's going to keep doing its thing no matter whether time is moving or not. And so I think if you put rea reality in stasis... The Void is going to keep eating no matter what. It doesn't matter. The arrogance of the gods can cause the undoing of everything. Right. And they think that we as mortals are arrogant and we don't understand. But that what's hilarious is that our mortality is what's granted us the insight into why we are... Why we're able to provide a diff, that different perspective. And this is, like, very common throughout all fantasy when there's gods and man, where, like, the morality and the alignment and the logic of gods and man typically are not the same. And so it's it's valuable and, tip, and, and very common trope is that the gods are meant to learn a lesson from man. And that lesson typically comes in the form that man is not weak and that man has absolute control of his destiny. And I think that's what... This makes mankind special, it's what makes them different. You know, it's why mortals, mortal beings of all kinds, are, are important to the perspective of the cosmos, because cosmos without a cycle of life and death and only experiences spent through the lens of eternity is not a universe where mortals would want to live. It's not... It's not right. No force should tyrannically be overbearing over the cosmos and of other forces because true wisdom is that all of those forces rely upon one another to even exist. And by trying to force absolute order, the Titans end up spreading chaos. Um, maybe until at least until at one point the void consumes everything and then everything is in absolute order, which is terrifying to think about, but... So was the Night Elves having immortality bad? Yes. <laughs> yes. You can look at almost any fantasy setting and immortality is almost always exclusively a bad thing. It doesn't matter if it's in the form of haughty, beautiful elves that become mega depressed because they can't stand being in the mortal realm anymore, like in Tolkien. It 
manifests also in the undead of the Dark Souls universe, where everything falls into a permanent state of rot and nothing ever dies. Um, immortality is just not a good thing. Um, it causes nothing but problems. Um, for mortals, you know, if eternal beings are meant to be immortal in some capacity, then fine, but mortals are not meant to be. Uh, so. I think if a force becomes too dominant, it starts losing guard, therefore it becomes vulnerable, and that's why. I don't agree with that. I think it is theoretically possible. If, if, if gods like the Titans were potentially able to do something that basically breaks the framework, the lattice work that's set in place by the creators. I think that the greatest threat is that theoretically they could subvert any fail-safe mechanisms that are in place that would stop them from supposed to be stopping them from being able to, to do so. But if through bargaining and, and control of other cosmic forces they have gleaned knowledge or techniques that allow them to kind of surpass the boundaries that were set in place for them, then... No, I think that's incredibly... It's a big threat. Um, so, yeah. Life is a danger to all, at least in the way it currently exists. And again, that could be due to the machinations of Amon Thule, having potentially or maybe stolen ANR or ANR could have been convinced um sold her sisters out and basically joined the pantheon of order um could have been before memory it could have been before could have been during or after the awakening or even before where she was ordered like there's so much opportunity for ANR to also be a victim of of Amon Thule Amon Thule being the big bad guy I think I think, look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure like 99% of players would be completely fine with that. With Amonthul just like being the bad guy. Like really genuinely the bad guy. I think that most players would be completely fine with that. I think a lot of players like kind of suspect Amonthul already. <laughs> so, 